There's no end to it. <laughs> All right, so we have some questions here, Iman. Every time I ask a meditation, who am I? Iman, do you feel like uh, speaking to us and and uh, rather than me reading your comment, if you want to share, you feel Hi, like it? Yes. Yeah. Sure, no problem. Hi, Iman. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Um, okay, so my question was, and this happened several times, uh, pre-question, uh, you need to know since 2017, I don't watch TV, I don't listen to the news, I uh, detached from what you call the matrix, so it's been three years now. So my question is, um, since uh, getting in touch with you, uh, Zarathustra, uh, you said to ask the question, who am I? So for the past three months, every time in deep meditation, I try to ask the question, who am I? The answer always comes back is, what does it matter? What does it matter? Mm -hmm. So now you mentioned it again, and I said, okay, let me ask. Uh, somehow, I don't know, my analogy is, it always comes back with, what does it matter? So, do I get turned off by the question of who am I, or is there no I, or what does it really matter, who am I? <laughs> I <don't Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> the questioning of who am I is another way, it's another tool to bring your attention to the seer to the watcher, the witness. the witness, that which is always here. So who am I is an incredible question because it turns your attention inwards because upon investigation of who am I, you realize, okay, I'm not my name, I'm not my family name, I am not my nationality because these are all changeable and they can come and go yes i understand is there a different way i guess what i'm trying to ask is to, to try and search for the witness or try to connect with the witness um is there a different way from that question because i guess what i'm saying is that question's not working for me it seems well, you don't ask that question 20 times a day. You ask it once or twice or three times, three times, and you just look. Close your eyes and you look. And if you're lucky, there is no answer. It's silence. Yes. Exactly. Exactly. I'm constantly in silence. It's, mm -hmm. it's when I when I when I come to when I break the silence and try when I remember you and I try to ask that question. It comes back to saying, "What does it matter?" Yeah. To whom does it matter? That's beautiful answer. It's perfect because nothingness. When you come to the truth of who you are, silence, there's nothing to say. There's, but does it matter? To whom does it matter? If you're nothing and you're no one, then what difference does it make? You're at the right place. You're getting the right answer, my sister. Thank you so much. Yeah, that's absolutely the answer. It's the pointer to that which is not explainable. Let me explain another part of it. So, so 
sometimes, I mean, of course I've realized in all these years that I have to use different examples and and sometimes saying something in a certain way, it doesn't click. So you have to just kind of create different examples, different ways of saying it, maybe another way clicks. So imagine that 12 people standing in a circle and focused in the middle, to the middle, but in the middle of circle, these 12 people standing there and there's nothing in the middle. And that nothing is the one that is projecting these people. So these 12 people standing there actually are projection of the nothingness. Can you make that imagination right now? Can you bring that picture? That you are standing in a circle and the nothing, the force, I am, is projecting itself from unmanifest to manifest. And that's what when realization comes, you come to, because you start to realize that from nothingness comes everything, and all of it goes back to nothingness. It's a constant, constantly manifests itself in the world of duality, to look at itself. But in the middle, there's nothing. All these 12 people looking in the middle, they don't see anything there. But it's that they don't see empty space has created them. So they are and they are not. I know I'm going to channel two or channel three, but that which you're looking for it's neither this nor that. It's that which you're looking for. It's in between the lines. It's not this line or that line. It's in between the lines. It's the empty space in between the two lines. And that's what you're looking for. And that's what you find when you look inside and you come, your mind goes into silence. There is still the being, but it's not really anything, yet it's everything. And I can't explain it to you. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. Until you come to that point, I can just sit down here and talk about it a million times until you touch it and see it for yourself. It's, un it's incredible because we want to get it with our intellect and it's impossible to get it because it's either white or black. It's either you are or you're not, but it's neither this or neither that. People come and ask me about karma. Yes, there is karma and there is not. People ask me about free will. Yes, you have free will till you realize you don't have it. And it's like, what? Yes, you have it till you realize you don't have it. You never had it, then it's never been there. But prior to that, it's been there. What? What? Excuse me? Your head starts going like this. 